what and why of final accounts. <clears throat> the final accounts are actually the last leg of the process of accounting. What was our process of accounting? We had first, if you remember the definition, it was the art of recording, classifying and summarizing. So we did that part. We did the recording in the journal. We did a classifying in the ledger and we did a summarizing in the trial balance. Thereafter, these, this activity was called bookkeeping. Thereafter, we come to preparation of the final accounts, which is the last leg of the process of accounting. This consists of the trading account and the profit and loss account. What does the, this is actually nothing but the income statement. It is called the income statement which is split into the trading account which gives us the gross profit and the profit and loss account which gives us the net profit. What does the income statement do? Tells us the results of the year, the results of the operations of the trading activity during the year. <clears throat> we know the net profit or the net loss. And we prepare another statement which is called the balance sheet, the income statement and the balance sheet. The income statement and the position statement. What is the balance sheet? A position, the financial position as on at the year end, as on a particular date. It will consist of the list of assets and the list of liabilities. <clears throat> we will discuss the accounts of sole proprietors under two headings. One is for trading concerns and one is for non-trading concerns or manufacturing concerns. In case of trading concerns, we will have the trading account and the profit and loss account, which together is nothing but the income statement and the balance sheet. So we have an income statement and a position statement, which is the balance sheet. Income statement comprising the trading account and the profit and loss account. And in case of the final accounts of the manufacturing concerns, that it would consist of these three. But in addition to that, before that, we first prepare a manufacturing account to find out the cost of goods produced, the cost of goods which are being manufactured, the cost of goods manufactured. <clears throat> So the final accounts of the sole proprietors is the last leg of the process of accounting and consists of the income statement and the position statement. We will discuss final accounts of trading concerns, which is just trading account, profit and loss and balance sheet. And in case of manufacturing concerns, we would also have a manufacturing account in addition to the trading profit and loss and balance sheet. The manufacturing account would tell us the cost of the goods produced during the year. <clears throat> the final accounts of trading concerns or non-manufacturing concerns. Like we said, these final accounts consist of a trading account, a profit and loss account and a balance sheet. So what does the trading account give us? The trading account, as I had, as we had discussed before, trading and profit and loss will tell us the Results, the net profit or loss, the results of the operations of a business. The trading account gives us what is called the gross profit. Gross profit is nothing but the sales minus the cost of goods sold. <clears throat> gross profit, trading account is prepared to ascertain the gross profit, which is nothing but sales minus cost of goods sold. Sold. <clears throat> the profit and loss account will tell us the net profit or net loss. And what is the net profit? It is gross profit as brought from above minus other operating expenses. 
So once you know the gross profit, which is which is what sales less, the direct cost of goods sold, the cost of purchases and other direct expenses, we get a gross profit. Net profit is gross profit minus other overheads, other operating expenses. <clears throat> and then we prepare a balance sheet, which is which has the assets on one side and the liabilities and capital on the other. Assets are what the business owns, what the business owns, land, building, machinery, whatever it owns, along with what is receivable. <clears throat> what is receivable? Maybe from debtors, maybe from other advances given, etc. Liabilities is what the business owes. Liability the, of the business to pay, maybe creditors, etc. And then we have capital, which is nothing but asset minus liabilities, the net worth of the business, that portion of the business which actually belongs to the proprietor. To this capital is added the net profit for the year. Or we deduct the net loss. So the gross profit is carried forward to the profit and loss account. The net profit from the profit and loss account is added to the capital or subtracted from the capital in case of loss. <clears throat> these are, these would be the final accounts of trading concerns or non-manufacturing concerns. Now let us go through each of these accounts one by one. 